All right, so today you're gonna build yourself a bunny hop stand. Um, the bunny hop in BMX is a technique that it's very, very important. Everything that you're gonna do on the track at a high level will have some sort of the foundation of the bunny hop, like whether you wanna pass a roller and you wanna pump and you wanna hop two wheels before the lip, that's a bunny hop. If you wanna jump, a big jump, and boost the jump, that's another sort of the bunny hop. I can go on and on on this, but if you wanna master your technique as a BMX racer, number one is you need to have a really good foundation of a bunny hop as far as technique, okay? So it's on your scorecard, and every three months or a year or six months, depending on what I will have you do, we're gonna be reassessing how high your bunny up is. So that's gonna be on your test. So therefore, in order to do this accurately, you are going to need to build yourself a bunny up stand. This is how I did it. I am not much of a wood craftsmanship, so I don't have a lot of woodworking skills. So if you, if you have a better way to do it, please go ahead and do it. If you're like me and you don't quite work with wood, this is how I did it. You're gonna go to your local hardware store and you're gonna buy yourself a bunch of two by four, okay? And you're gonna cut two of those and make it about four feet high, all right? And then you are going to make yourself eight block about one foot to one foot and a half, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna build yourself two tower. So one will be your four foot beam right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one footer and you're gonna nail one on this side of it. Okay, so just put the nail in there, stick it in there, all right? It won't look pretty, but it'll get the job done. Then you're gonna put one on the other side, right here, and you're gonna nail it right here. All right, and then you're gonna take the other two and you're gonna put one here, all right, and you're gonna nail it right here, and then you're gonna do the uh, same thing on the other side. Perfect, so now you have your one tower, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Put right here, one here, one there, nail, 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 perfect. So now you have your two tower. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take, you, you're gonna take your tape measure and you're gonna stick a bunch of nail in front of it all the way to four feet. So you're gonna go one foot, uh, one, one inches, two, three, four, once you get to 12, make a bar on it, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be your one foot. One, two, three, all the way to 12, that's gonna be two feet. One, two, three, four, 12, that's gonna be three, and one, two, three, four, four, that's gonna be four feet. I really doubt that you're gonna bunny hop over four feet. If you think you can put it up, make it five feet high. All right, so then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, 12. One, two, three, four, five, 12. One, two, three, four, five, so that's gonna be one, two, three. So now therefore you'll be able to score yourself, hey, I did two foot seven inches. So that's how you're gonna keep track of it. Then you can also go to that same hardware store. There's a lot of thin pieces of wood. Some, sometimes they're in fiberglass or whatever it is. Get yourself a little stick and that's where you are going to put in front of the beam that's gonna be sitting on the nail. And that's how we're gonna be able to keep track of it. Make sure that you come in in this direction so that you're coming from behind that, that little stick, that little bar. Uh, so that way if you touch it, it just fall right off the nails and then you just put it back, right? So if you were to come in that direction, on the opposite direction, when you're gonna touch that stick, you're either gonna break it or it's just gonna cause the two tower to just fall down with this is gonna be a disaster. So make sure that you come from the back of it, or behind it, and then you just come in in this direction all day long. And you're gonna practice that over and over and over. You're gonna do the best you can. You're gonna rate your number, you're gonna rate your score, put it on the scorecard and submit the result, all right? And again, I'll say that again, that is going to be very important for your overall BMX skills. If I see someone on the track that has a pro level that can jump pro section, that can manual an entire rhythm section, that really rides well on his bike, I can guarantee you that he's got a bunny hop at least three feet high. 
right? And that the opposite thing happens also where if you look at a kid that can barely pump, can barely manual, I'll bet you that he won't be able to do two inches high on bunny hop. Okay, so it's all related. This is all a part of making sure that technically you master your BMX skill so that we can keep on progressing and progressing and use that skill on technique that's gonna make you faster on the track. So therefore, step number one, get yourself that stand, go ahead, go build it, and go test your bunny hop, put it on the scorecard, submit it. Hope it makes sense, good luck with that.